Gang, what's up, Taurus, baby? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Taurus between now and the 30th of September? Y'all being nice? Hmm? Hmm? Y'all getting to the shmoney? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Look out. I make us a little... That make us a lot just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, y'all, thank you so much for the new subscribers, likes, all the shares, all the comments, y'all. I really, 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 truly from a humble place appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for helping me grow and just being along with me on this journey, y'all. It's a hell of a journey, okay? This here will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus as well as a clock. A cross watcher, the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus between now and the 30th of September. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box below. This is a general, so it may or may not apply to everybody. If it does not apply, please check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as Mars and Jupiter and all that good stuff. Okay. Also, new subscribers, welcome to the family. We is a little dysfunctional over here. Okay. We don't fuss and we don't Fight. We don't do that. We need that shit on other people's channel because Mocha don't play that shit over here, okay? Love you very, very much, but we're positive, okay? We love, we share, we evolve, we grow, okay? So we just push forward. We don't we do not do that negatively. We don't come here to fight with people in the comments. We don't do that shit because you'll get blocked. I don't do that, okay? The professional blocker. What you want to do, okay? So we rocking. Uh, again, this will be from now to the 30th of September. Um, you guys, it's been crazy, okay? Off of you guys, I've been wanting to record Taurus. First off, I've been extremely busy. I got swamped before I ended that reading special, okay? So I apologize, you guys, that I'm a few days off. Please forgive me, okay? But I do, as you can see, my surrounding is changing, okay? Mocha is getting ready. I'm in the moving process. I have a lot of stuff going on, and I'm still trying to, you know, balance and manage mom, business, you know, other endeavors as well that's going really smooth for me. So it's been a lot, you know, so I thank y'all so much for being patient and kind with me. All right. So we rocking. Off the rip tours, intuitively, what I feel is a lot of y'all feel like y'all is no longer taking people shit. I feel like y'all are not letting people play with y'all like that. It's either, I, I for some of y'all, I literally hear it's my way or the highway. Now, it's not a good vibration that I'm feeling from some of them Tauruses. The energy that I felt for y'all that made it a little hard to record, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, y'all, was like a finesse and finagle type energy. It was just like real sly, you know, and it it was a little interesting, you know, to feel, but that's just what I feel for y'all. I don't know if people are doing this to you, Taurus, you feel like somebody is trying to get one over on you and they just real, you, you're dealing with a lot of slick talkers, they know what to say, you know, to get their way. Or if this is you, Taurus, but I strongly felt that vibration. All right, so you know how we get down. The first message is coming from the Crystal Angels Oracle Chorus by Doreen Virtue for you guys. It is Yellow Jasper. Now, I'm going to tell y'all now I was a little insecure, but I've been so damn busy. Y'all know I'm a diva. And my nail broke. And I, I just, and then, so yesterday, this one broke. So, I'm going to show y'all because I'm not going to be sitting here just playing this hide my finger game because I'm sincere about what I do. So, I'm going to forget. But I'm going to feel bad if somebody say, Mocha, your nail, I know it. I know it and it's killing me, okay? Because I am such a light. And I don't like missing nails. Right? So, he <laughs> rocking. So, whereas, the first, um message that I got for you guys is control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. That's that finesse and finagle I feel. This card can be a sign that you're experiencing a power struggle with someone or feeling not in control of your life. Power struggles can be like a tug of war which both sides pull, with both sides pulling on that energy in an attempt to win. This can be frustrating and draining so this card is reminding you to find a healthier path. Remember that you were made in God's image and likeness, and therefore you were naturally filled with the strength of God. Many a tug of war is ended when, per when one person drops the rope, which metaphorically means that you stop seeing the other person as powerful or controlling. Don't give away your power to others and surrender any control issues to God, who can peacefully heal and balance this situation. Focus upon your own energy and actions instead of fearfully monitoring others. Okay, so... You ain't got to watch nobody and what they doing towards because if they move and slick, karma's a bee. She's a bee's not. Bad as beyond. No. 
Okay. And so it's not up to you to get people back or for you to one up somebody else. Let God do God's job. Right. So during this time, I'm feeling some of y'all have already left a person like this. I feel like this. Some of y'all are recently leaving someone possibly in the month of August, especially if this person was a fire sign, every still Sag. You feeling like the Phoenix rising about the ashes right now. A lot of y'all left somebody and you've seen a hell of a financial gain. And if, it's, if, if you're on the verge of leaving someone, especially if this person is a fire energy, you will. Some of y'all are wondering why I got a blockage. You know, I'm a hard work. I'm ambitious because you got a life full of takers. What you going to do about it? Hmm. Some of y'all are during this time will be um, actually aligning your chakras. OK, some of you guys are feeling like some of y'all are feeling very, very powerful. You will be your third. eye will be pouring you information. But some of you who are dealing with um, the with the Pisces. OK, strong emphasis on the fish. OK, I see with the two fish. Some of y'all, I feel like. Spirit is aligning this for you, okay? Things are aligning for you. And some of y'all need this to open your heart chakra, really work on your heart chakra, because I feel like for some of y'all, for some of y'all, it's your root chakra, okay? But I feel that, Taurus, a lot of y'all are not really moving on what it is that you feel. You're not moving on them oofs, okay? And some of y'all, y'all heart chakra is blocked. So I feel like I'm talking to more so the Taurus man, baby. You got to find that love within yourself and align within yourself before you're trying to go out there and find somebody to complete you because you're going to continue feeling broken. It's okay to be by yourself. Okay? Some of y'all know this because y'all rising like that damn phoenix, all right? A lot of you guys are really coming to terms with the dark side of you. You will be coming to terms with the dark side of you um, during this time. It's literally like balancing, choosing, making a free will choice, okay, to choose the light side of a situation, okay? I feel like some of you have went through hell and back, and you feel like, you know, why do I keep going through this repetitive cycle? Why do I keep? Because you have to learn the lesson within it, baby. So it is a lesson. In every single in every single experience in life, there is a lesson that can bring wisdom to you. It just depends on how you look at it. Okay? As above, so below, Taurus, you bring the beauty to things. So things have to occur in your life to teach you that wisdom. But how the hell are you gonna tell somebody else some or stray somebody else from a path you ain't walked down? You don't know nothing about. If you don't went if you ain't never went through something, what the hell do you know? You don't know shit. Right? Don't think you know it all and you don't know shit, because can't nobody tell you shit. If you got somebody in your life like that, so you need to tell them to get right, get their life. During this time, a lot of y'all are going to be really finding your power. I, again, this pineal gland, y'all pineal gland is going to be crazy. Some of y'all trust your dreams. A lot of y'all are dreamers. Trust your dreams because during this time, your dreams are going to be extremely revealing to you, okay? And for some of you, you some of you guys really, really, really want to leave someone alone. Y'all want this person to leave me alone. But y'all, it's destiny. It's destined that you go through your journey with this person, okay? There is something that this person has to teach you, okay? So if there's someone who keeps coming back in your life because I keep seeing like this door open and closing, but the crazy part about it is two doors and I see one, one door that opens and closes and it looks like it's like a revolving door. Now the second one is like a revolving door as well, but it's full of light. Which let me know it's full of some type of enlightenment. It's full of some type of knowledge. It's full of some type of faith. It's full of some type of infinity. Okay. Some type of light-like situation. It's out of your control. So you can't control destiny. Stop trying to. Again, let God do God's job. Okay. You got enough on your plate. Everybody, everybody, everybody always need tours. Some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys are really finding the beauty of yourself. The beauty in yourself within yourself with being by yourself. Some of you guys had a, a deep fear of a, a deep fear of abandonment in the past. But after really getting all the takers out your life, and I'm talking to the people who who, who them Phoenix them Phoenix like folks, okay? Literally, after getting all the takers out your life, you're really starting to see the beauty within your within life itself. You will be during this time. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with Pisces, and I feel like during this time you're going to be, this is going to be a time of restoration, because both people are choosing to walk, walk in authenticity, and that is what was destined. That was lessons. You have to go through some hell to get to that happy home, but it's worth the fight, okay? For a lot of y'all, but not the fight within your damn self. Do not internally fight yourself trying to hold on to some shit. That ain't worth being held on to. Because if some of you guys trying to hold on to a fire element, Aries, Leo, Sag, and 
Spirit has really been trying to push you away, okay? This person really makes you internally fight yourself because this person may use some type of form of manipulation, okay, to make you feel less than what you are, all right? To, 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 to try to control situations in the, the way that they can remain comfortable, okay? And I feel like some of y'all are not seeing it, but during this time, a lot of y'all are going to become to terms with that, like, what the hell am I really holding the hell up? What am I holding this for? I'm going to drop this shit. Nobody got time for that. Right. During this time, towards a lot of y'all, some of you guys who have to move forward by yourself during this time, if you're breaking up with somebody and you feel like you had a money block, it just, it's removed. You're moving forward by yourself with the shmoney. Everybody ain't meant to eat with you, baby. Some of you guys definitely will be finding out about some type of betrayal, okay? But it's, I feel like this betrayal, this ten of swords is going to allow you to move forward and focus on your finances and rebuild, restructure, renew. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with the sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I feel like some of y'all are going to be truthful with yourself and this person. Look, I don't want to do this no more. I know that I'm supposed to be in some form of newness. Some of you guys have to actually get past a form of betrayal in order to get your wish, okay, with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's about how you communicate with, this, with, with you and this other person. I feel like it's taking someone to stand up for themselves in order and stand up for themselves and, and, and say, look, I'm going to walk away from this shit. I'm tired of feeling like I have to carry everything by myself. I have to and, and, and be in this position where I feel like me or you is not making a damn decision on if we want to move or not. What the hell are we going to do? Some of y'all moved out. I see that too. Some of you guys will be literally moving out and walking away. And this is just to show a person better than I could tell, better than you could tell them. Look, I'm not playing. That's right. Stand up for your damn self, Taurus. Some of you guys are making a decision, okay? Some of you guys are making a decision during this time of if you if you want to stay with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because this person can be a bit deceptive. This person is sneaky, and I feel like a lot of you guys are not trusting your intuition. Some of you guys know that you need to move away from your past, okay? Some of you guys don't know if you want to work it out or stay work it out or leave um a relationship with another earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like you really want to focus on work and just walk completely away from your past because you're feeling like you need to rebuild your structure. Some of you guys have some of you guys are having to make a decision, okay, between a um Capricorn and a possibly a fire sign during this time. And I feel like both of these both of these relationships, to be honest, are a bit toxic because one person I feel like is emotionally manipulative and one person I feel like is literally controlling. OK, they try to do it either through finances here or they try to do it through emotions. OK, like belittling or something of that nature. Yeah, some of you guys. Definitely have an air sign, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person, <laughs> I feel like y'all making a decision on you. You kind of stuck between if I want to move or if I want to stay. Because, Taurus, you guys are fixed signs. You really don't like change. You like for things to kind of stay as is. But Spirit is literally moving you guys away. So you're going to close the door. It's going to be involuntarily closed for you, baby. But you're going to have to make a decision. Some of you guys feel like <laughs> you have a water. Some of you guys feel like you literally have a, a toxic water sign in your life. Um, Capricorn towards Virgo. You feel like this person constantly puts you in third party situations. Oh, Taurus, I feel I'm hearing it could also be you putting this person in third party situations, Taurus, and they're making a decision on if they even want to stay or go. Okay, because they feel like that they've had enough of betrayal. But some of you all who are waiting, who are waiting on someone to come back, possibly a Gemini or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, not just people who are waiting on one to communicate with you. Maybe this person in the past thought that you were toxic or possibly cut you off due to finding out about a third party situation, okay? I feel like some of you are needing to make a decision because in the midst of waiting on this person, some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign, okay? Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of y'all are literally waiting on a decision to be made by a water sign. Now, what's going to happen is that this water sign is going to come back in. And y'all already know that this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this water sign for a lot of y'all is a soulmate. It's your soulmate, your lover. And I feel like <laughs> some of y'all love two people. You can't have it all, Taurus. You're needing to make a decision, okay? But some of you, you're going to, um, some of you, I feel like you're making a decision. 
on if you want to take a leap of faith and move forward because in your current relationship, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign like yourself, you feel like this person does not have a, there's not an equal give and take in a relationship. Some of you all, I feel like you, you totally want to be parted up with the Gemini. However, you feel like this person is toxic and they can't stop cheating. Some of y'all feel like a Gemini is a habitual cheater. Or maybe they feel like this about you, Taurus, but I definitely see that in the building. <laughs> all right, let's clarify. Spirit, why is this ten of swords here? My to damn, yeah, gem I say, damn Gemini. Some of y'all, some of y'all have a Gemini, okay? Or some of y'all feel like you love your soulmate. There's a lot of love here, but at the same time, a lot of y'all are choosing y'all self. Good shit, Taurus. Because ain't nobody going to love you like you love yourself. They can. But sometimes you got to lead by example and lead their ass and move forward just to show them fat me greasy. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all are getting cut off possibly by a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or, this, or you could be cutting this person off after some type of reve revelation of the truth, okay? Some of y'all, especially if you've been dealing with this person and it's been on and off, um, I see for the past either three years or three months. Some of y'all are going to be moving away from this person. And you're going to walk right into a soulmate, which could be a Gemini or a damn water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all are going to be receiving some truth and clarity and moving <laughs> moving towards possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, after receiving truth and clarity regarding the earth sign. I'm sorry, earth sign, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys are moving away from a water sign. I have a water sign moving away from you because they feel like you drink too damn much. You feel like they drink too damn much. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely moving away from third party energy, period. You just don't want no parts of that shit. I mean, and to be honest with you, yeah, some of y'all are kind of juggling between, you kind of stuck between the rock and the hard place. Some of you guys are having to come to terms with the family situation, okay? Possibly water, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You don't know if you want to be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign, because I feel like for some of you all, you literally been dipping between two people. And then you just fell in love with two people. And now you want to communicate and tell the truth on, you know, where you want to be. Where you want to be. What's best for you. What's going to work for Taurus. And a lot of y'all put everybody else first. And I always say that about my bull game. Taurus, what about you? What about you? It's about time y'all choose y'all damn self. Yeah, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are walking away from a toxic ass Scorpio as well. Some of y'all are... Damn it. Taurus, if there were children made out of third party relationships or someone went and cheated in a third party relationship and there is someone that else that could be pregnant, that's going to be coming out during this time. And I feel like it was right when somebody got to the point of true live nostalgia telling, not telling their mama and shit about your ass on the phone on Saturdays. Oh, mama, you ought to see him. He, and, and then boom. Shit hits the fan. But I feel like a lot of y'all had the chance to be honest. Or this person had the chance to be honest. Because I strongly feel like for those of you who are trusting your intuition. You just sitting back with your feet up waiting on shit hit the fan. <laughs> yeah. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Fuck what people said. Trust yourself. Because for some of y'all, shit finna hit the fan. A lot of y'all are going back to your families. You're realigning things. Good shit, Tori. Some of you have a Gemini. Or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, this person. But some of y'all, if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, baby, this person could be a twin flame to you. If it's a Gemini, this person could also be a twin flame to you. Because I feel strong twin flame unions here. And I feel that you want thing, you want a strong foundation, but the only thing this person can seem to get off the ground is good sex. Yeah, some of y'all having good sex right here. Okay. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it, babe. <laughs> Why is this eight of who's coming? Yeah. Some of you guys have been waiting for a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, or possibly a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. To, you know, you really want, you've been waiting to hear from this person. You want to reconcile with this person after possibly finding out about somebody juggling in the past, okay? Do you want to actually start over? You want to rebuild? I do see a lot of y'all actually getting the opportunity to give that offer, okay? But some of you guys, you have two people that you're dealing with, and this keep coming out strong. Some of you guys are dealing with two people, okay? All these damn twos. Some of y'all could be seeing two, two, two during this time. Balance, balance is coming to a structure, okay? I do see... Balance being restored in family situations, in money situations, okay? I see balance being restored in 
situations with health as well. For those of you who've been going through some form of health issue, something re regarding the respiratory, I don't know if it was like pneumonia or some type of bronchitis or I'm even hearing asthma. Someone having asthma issues maybe due to allergies. It's crazy because I'm hearing allergies as well. That will be that will be clearing up during this time, baby. Spirit had to keep you still, okay, to make y'all see some shit. And some of y'all, some of y'all had that revelation, and some of y'all just ain't trusting yourself. Some of you guys have a cancer in your energy. And with this person, you feel like you feel like this person, you feel like you give more, okay, than this person does. And I feel like you really love this person. You want to take a leap of faith, but you're just like, damn. What you going to do? You just kind of sitting back and waiting to see what the hell this person going to do? Some of y'all could be being petty and dry asking people for stuff that you don't need just to see if they got your back during this time. <laughs> y'all was funny, okay? That's that finesse and finesse. Y'all some else to us. I freaking love y'all. Yeah, some of you guys have been trying to manifest having children, possibly with a Leo, okay? Uh, some of you, yeah, some of you want to have children with the Leo, you finna get your wish. I'm also seeing, for those of you who are trying to have children or trying to um, manifest having a baby, y'all, these new moons, start looking up the schedules with the new moons. These new moons are really going to work in your favor. Y'all better know how to exercise that moon energy. Yeah, some of y'all going to possibly be uh, hearing, some, hearing some type of communication possibly from a Leo. Okay, and I feel like this was after a period of deception. This person forgives you, Tori. Both of y'all stubborn as hell, though. You're clear by this food card in here. Some of y'all need to make a decision. You sit in this indecisive energy, and it's really unhealthy for you. Some of y'all finna think y'all self down damn headaches. I'm oh, let me get out of this quick. All these headaches and shit I'm feeling. Tori, some of y'all thinking y'all selves and having headaches. Just stop it. Let God do God's job. Some of you don't know if it's safe to take a leap of faith and move forward with an Aries, y'all. It's safe. Jump off the cliff. Don't charge nobody else for your past crimes. Heal before you try to move forward and give your heart to anybody. Fully heal. Because don't hold other people accountable. I'm strong here. Don't hold other people accountable for what the past did. Why is this Eight of Swords here for my Tauruses? Yeah. Some of y'all are indecisive. You're not wanting to see that you're going to have to cut off an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all. But for some of y'all, y'all cutting off an air sign and moving right in the hands on fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. And I feel like with this person, it's a lot of love. It's a lot of passion, okay? But this, you can't have this person. It's like spirit dangled this person in your face like this. Uh-huh. Here you go. Uh-huh. Here you go. <laughs> and... Y'all, God is not the author of confusion. So why would I allow you to be in love with someone who's attached to somebody else? And it goes smooth because you're not even loving yourself to actually be a the choice, not an option. Think about it. Self-love is the best love, baby. That's why a lot of y'all are kind of being pushed out of the door. From someone who don't know your work and people, period, in your surrounding who don't know your work. Some of you guys actually had to possibly leave the mother or father of your children. And you want to go back, but spirit is needing you to heal yourself, okay? And focus on your finances. Because for some of you guys, you had to leave a person due to stability issues. And you're worried about if this person still feels the same. Taurus, they feel the same. But I feel like some of you guys are needing to focus on stability, expansion, and balance during this time. And align it. And stop internally fighting yourself for the things that you know that you need to do. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. I always tell y'all that fuck what people said. What did you feel? Fuck what they said. Okay? Do more. Do, do your homework during this time. Some of y'all just got people telling y'all shit because you love this person you just don't want to see. Taurus, it's time to take the damn blindfold off. But that's all right. This Aries full moon on the 24th or the 25th, it's finna do y'all some. It's finna do y'all some serious. That's why I seen this nine of pentacles. Aries is about action. It's movement time. It's time to make a choice, or it's gonna be made for you. And some of y'all, you ain't gonna be unhappy with the damn outcome, cause some of y'all gonna be looking like Nushmane. Nushmane, ow, what you mean? Nushmane. Who I wanna look like Nushmane? 
Shit, crown me new money, but you needed to make this decision, Taurus. Some of you all are going to need to make a judgment call. Do I choose bullshit, lies, deception, slick talk, indecision, confusion, manipulation, belittling for some people? Or do I choose my damn self? <laughs> and for some of you who've been thinking about starting a business, go ahead, baby. Spirit is encouraging. Some of y'all gonna have some of y'all having new babies too. <clears throat> Most love the kids. Congrats, boo. But new money. I don't want to look like new money. Shit, tag me. Tag me. I don't mind looking like new money. You understand? <laughs> but this is what I have for you guys between the well now and the 30th of September. Um, I guess I'll see you guys back in October. I love you very much. Much love. Much light. Much abundance, many blessings, much prosperity, and all of this light. <laughs> Y'all, I'm goofy. Hell, I've been bored. I got to find been in front of computers and phones. I got to make the best out of some. You understand? So I love you guys. If you need that personal, hit me up. That information is below. <laughs>